What if I say you can test your complete UI as well as API tester of an application without writing even a single line of code? I'm sure you might be knowing my earlier video if you have seen the model context protocol of Claude Anthropic and the one, the tool that we have built called as Execute Automation's Playwright MCP server. It is quite amazing. And now with the new release of the Playwright MCP server, you can now test your Playwright MCP server to run the automation test, not just using the Claude desktop, but also using the client a Visual Studio Code plugin, also with the cursor IDE, as you're gonna see today in this particular demonstration. And there are so many different improvements has recently happened in the MCP server of the Playwright. And if you go to the Playwright MCP server GitHub repo over here, the github.com slash execute automation slash Playwright MCP, you'll notice that there are so many uh, contributors coming up in our uh, Playwright MCP server right now. And there are 22,000 plus downloads happening in the symmetry.ai as you can see over here. And the latest version, as you can see, uh, if you just go to the uh, to the deployment over here or to the exit automations.com uh, MCP playwright servers uh, tutorial over here. And if you just go all the way to the release notes, you can see that the latest version has got a lot of or bunch of fixes as well as the features as you can see. The first feature is the iframe support thanks to uh, Wins OPS uh, who has contributed to this and also fixed the uh, issue with the PNG uh, thanks to uh, Bailey's4 uh, who has told me to fix that and he has also raised the PR for fixing it. And also fixed the issue, the full page screenshot uh, which is the argument which was something which was missed before and now we have fixed that and also there is the latest version of playwright mcp uh, uh, server library upgrade in both of them also the uh, uh, typescript has been upgraded here and also there was an issue with the uh, screenshot every single time every uh, the user while they take a screenshot uh, and also try to uh, access it from the uh, playwright mcp server in the cursor uh, ide they were uh, facing some issue uh, something like this as you can see the content type or the image is not supported and also you can see that they had some issue with the installation of this particular playwright mcp server so all these issues are right now being resolved and it is available over here so you can see that this release is quite amazing. So all you have to do it is just use the latest version of the Playwright MCP server. I mean, you don't really have to do anything over there. All you have to do it is just use this particular command, the npx y of the slash, uh, the at exit automation slash Playwright MCP server. You will get the latest version from the uh, Node.js already. So I will show you all these things using the cursor IDE today. So all you have to do if you have never used cursor before, cursor is quite an amazing IDE for writing uh, quite a lot of different code, pretty much like VS Code. And also you can uh, see that this is an AI code editor. I mean, that's how they name it. But you will notice that they have got a chat feature, composer feature, and they have the auto completions and support of different models and all those things that you can see in GitHub Copilot and uh, all other IDEs uh, for even like client for that matter. And they also have got the agent inbuilt in it, uh, which means you can run your code with the power of the agents and also they help, uh, they get the help from the MCP server to make that happen as well. So uh, as you can see over here, this is a very, very super simple application that I have built uh, in the Node.js over here. So if you want to run this particular application, all you have to do it uh, is you just go over here, uh, localhost of uh, 3000, uh, V3000, maybe it's not even running. Uh, so if I just go uh, and run this particular application, a node of uh, app.js uh, over here, and then if I just go, uh, to the application, something like this. You can see that this is a login application. Uh, I'm just gonna say uh, admin as username and password one to three as password. And you will notice that it is gonna bring you up this uh, welcome admin uh, successfully coming up over here. So we are gonna see how we can automate this particular application using the Playwright MCP server. I mean, you're gonna see all these operations right now, even without writing in a single line of code. And I will show you how you can actually do that. Well, if you have cursor already installed in Windows or a Mac operating system, there was some issue going on before, but now all these issues been fixed. Just you have to go to the cursor and the settings, go to the cursor settings. And there is an option over here in the cursor settings called as MCP. So within this MCP over here, you can add the MCP server. So in order for you to add the MCP server, just go and hit this add new MCP server uh, and head over to our uh, execute automation uh, GitHub repo over here uh, for the 
uh, MCP Playwright server. Uh, you can see that there are many different ways that you can install this Playwright MCP server. You can either use this particular command directly, or you can also use uh, this uh, symmetry, as you can see over here, symmetry.ai, which does the exact same thing for you as well. So they have got the command, like how you can work with the AI cloud. This is the command that you have to use. Uh, if you're going to be using cursor, then you need to use this particular command as you can see over here. So if I'm going to use uh, cursor because I'm using cursor, so all you have to do it is uh, I just have to copy um, this particular command from here and then go to cursor. Uh, I'm just going to give the name of the server as Playwright. Uh, and I'm going to put this particular command over here and I don't really need this config over here But if you just have this config doesn't matter. It's just gonna work So I'm just gonna hit add over here and the moment I add this particular playwright MCP server You will notice that the playwright MCP server is going to be added for me over here So this is the latest version of playwright MCP server which is going to be added within your cursor So it's going to be refer uh, over there and mostly you can notice that the type over here should be command as you can see Right, so this is the only this is the only setup that you have to do to enable the Playwright MCP server. That's it. And once you have this, now you can run your UI testing using Playwright MCP server without even writing single line of code, which is amazing. And I'm sure that this can be very, very helpful for developers, especially if they wanted to do a quick end-to-end -end test to see if their application is working as expected, if the UI is behaving correctly or not, because you don't have to do anything to write a code to run this particular test. All you have to do it is uh, just go over here uh, in the cursor uh, and select the pane over here. I did some try before. And I'm gonna ask like uh, navigate uh, localhost colon 3000 uh, and uh, perform login with username as admin and password as password. Once logged in, uh, check if the welcome uh, admin uh, message exists in the home page. Look at that. This is what I wanted to test and see how that actually works. So this is exactly what I just showed you over here as you can see right so i'm gonna do a send over here and the moment i send this you will notice that now the uh, cursor is gonna go and invoke the playwright mcp server for me and you see that it's telling me that calling mcp uh, tool which is the playwright uh, navigate tool which is amazing so i'm gonna say run this tool for me and look at that it is gonna bring this particular uh play browser with this particular uh, page and then it is going to uh, it's going to ask me uh, do you want to uh, uh, enter the username see that now it's navigated there and then it's asking me to fill the uh, username so once i hit uh, run this tool it is going to enter the admin there and then it is going to enter the password for me so i'm going to say run this tool so it has entered the password uh, and now it should perform the login click. So it knows that it has to go and click the login there. So now it's asking me that there is a playwright click operation that it has to perform. Do you allow that? So when I say yes, now look at that. It is just going to go uh, there. Uh, and for some reason, I think what has happened is because the password is quite uh, wrong there, maybe uh, the password one, two, three, Ah, oh, look at that. My my spelling is wrong there for the password. Uh, that's the reason why it has failed. And look at that. Now it's going to take a screenshot for me behind the scene. So that is what is going to really happen uh, during this point of time. So what if I'm going to say, I'm just going to say accept. Look at that. It has taken the screenshot for me and it has saved that thing for me over there. And now it is going to go and check uh, whether uh, the, the message uh, includes the welcome admin there. So it's going to keep checking it for me and for sure there is no such name so it is just going to fail uh, i'm going to say accept and there we go you see that the execution result is false uh, and there is this uh, failure happening uh, now i'm gonna uh, just say probably i'm just gonna uh, stop this okay invalid credential all right i'm gonna just stop this entire execution uh, and i'm gonna copy this whole thing and now we are going to ask the same thing over here with the password as P A S S W O R D one two three. There we go. Uh, it is going to uh, perform the correct operation, so it should uh, open the browser. There we go, uh, and then it should enter the credential. So I'm going to just run this a bit more quickly because we have already seen this like how it was working before. So I'm just going to run this tool. Uh, and look at that. So it has logged in. So welcome admin is coming in uh, and then it is gonna 
uh, take a screenshot and it's now evaluating the message uh, and hopefully everything is correct and there we go so look at that uh, because you see that it is now like case insensitive because there is no comma there and it's failing amazing and the same thing we can actually do it using the cloud desktop as well so when i say cloud desktop just have to open the cloud desktop if you have already installed it just uh, just go and use that and again once again so if you want to use the cloud desktop make sure uh, for the playwright mcp server you are going to be setting that over here in the configuration we have already discussed about that i'll put the link in the description below so that you can go and watch there like how i did that and over here i'm just going to ask the same exact question with the cloud desktop and if i try to uh, hit enter you will notice that this is also going to perform the exact same operation see that it's going to open the browser uh, and then it's asking me whether you want to allow to uh, perform the operation there i'm just going to say allow the chat look at that it's going to enter the username and password uh, it's going to fill that up and then it's going to perform the login the submit operation and it's going to also take the screenshot for me there we go and it has saved that screenshot uh, for me over there and it's checking if that welcome uh, admin is there and but the execution result is false because as you can see uh, there is no comma there and it has just failed but this is how you can actually done do with the with the cloud desktop as well so this is how you can use the cursor uh, ide to perform this operation and you see that every single operation that you are seeing over here is quite amazing so these are all just happening without you writing even a single line of code once again, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope the latest version of the MCP server is going to bring some cheers in your face. Thank you.